United States Square. Ah. Oh, right. <laughs> Remains United States Square after World War One, of course, to pay homage to the American troops who got involved in the battles at Belo or in Chateau Thierry. Chateau Thierry was delivered by the Fourth uh, Third Infantry Division, U.S. Division, and it, uh, that's where it gained its nickname, the Rock of the Marne, because they didn't uh, allow the Germans to cross the river. Even if he was uh, born in a bourgeois family, mm -hmm. when you see the house, you see that he was, he was quite yeah. uh, at ease. Jean de la Fontaine. Jean de la Fontaine. I think I remember Dormans. I think he was Dormans. So it is a really style house. But of course it has no many uh, transformations during the centuries. But you, you can see some uh, elements of the uh, Renaissance architectural vocabulary. And he made a very uh, famous stained glass window in in the rims. The, 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 the town of Chateau Thierry was a fortified town, you know, with four entrance uh, gates like this one. Of course, all that was uh, pulled down by yeah. the revolution. Okay, and this is the only remaining one, dating back to the early 13th century. So obviously, uh, uh, we there were be, uh, a drawbridge. Bridge, but there'd be no no moat. And here we are. On the, in the moat. All right, okay. right. Well, there was a portcullis and then two big wooden doors here. Yes. And a piece of wood on this side of the door. And when you open the door, the piece of wood came here in the groove. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. You see, the, the figure of the, of the tower is not the same at all from one no. side. Oh, to the yeah. So they grew medicine as well as <coughs> vegetables and uh, yeah. And because there was a monastery close by, they yes. probably grew and made a lot. You know the champagne wine is the only white wine made out essentially out of white gra uh, yeah. black grapes. Yeah. Yeah. Is it they don't use skins? They don't. Well, yeah. The way it, the, 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 the. St. Peter? St. Peter, yes. Because it's just gone through St. Peter's door. Oh, right. <sighs> Wonderful doors. Yeah, yeah. really. <laughs> Linen fold. In this house oh. live the son of John Rafaelgen, you know, this one, the big one. Charles de Rafaelgen. And after St. Peter's door, this is St. John's door, Saint Jean in French. You see, the, the, the aspect is not the same, which was uh, reserved to the domestic services, you know? Yeah, yeah. The soldiers as well, but the, the stables, the cow shed, the uh, etc. The kitchen, uh, some of the, uh, of the, the kitchen, uh, kitchen part as well. And th this was a cellar under a house, you know? Mm. Ah, yes. Johnson's in Europe, you know? Mm. Dating back to the early 10th century. Uh, stone keep, anyway. And the first stones on the right are supposed to come from the 
antique city of Chateau Thierry, the Gallo-Roman city. Right. And then it was modified during the centuries until the 16th century. And of course, it was not that high at first, you know. You, you, you must imagine a 30 meters tower. There is a castle in France, if I find it back. This is the man we were talking about from the beginning, uh -huh. Jean de La Fontaine. Mm -hmm. This is the official portrait of La Fontaine when he entered the French Academy. You know, this institution that rules the French language. Yes, this is the keep that you can see in Loche in the west of France. And that's, that's what the, the dungeon in Chateau Thierry looked like, you see, 30 meters high. So, um, let's say, uh, 15, uh, 15 floor building. Yes. Wow. And at the beginning of the 15th century, they introduced gunpowder, they introduced artillery. So they didn't need those high defensive towers any longer. Mm. So they lowered the, uh, the keep and they made it a, a, an artillery platform. Ah, so they switched so between an, an, uh, a de an defensive uh, strategy, the big building down there. This was the public hospital until 1983. Yeah. And they moved because it was too old and they made a museum in this uh, it was the, the, the medieval hotel, you know, this is the medieval hospital. Yes. And it was run uh, until the, um, the half of the 20th century by a community of Augustinian sisters. And the museum gathers all that was given to the community from the uh, early 14th century to the 20th century. So there are many very interesting uh, collections in this museum. Good view. Yes, and when he used to, when he came here, Jean de La Fontaine used to say, "I can't imagine there there, there might be a, a more pleasant viewpoint in the world than this one." <laughs> but we were in the 17th century, and he hadn't traveled at all. <laughs> Stay cool. uh, again, you know. Mm. And did it <coughs> just this side? No, it came. Until the, the wall, you know, right. you hadn't this path here. So what is this, the pit itself? This is a dry ditch, uh -huh. here, you know, and there was a, a, a bridge, you know, over the ditch, and then a draw bridge, after, uh, lying on this, uh, on this amount pillar. of stone that you can see there, on this pillar. Yeah. Actually. Wow. So they would store food down there mostly? Yeah. Wow. Mm. Is that for children to go right up there? Do you want to go and jump in the nets or would you put your to all that stuff? So you know this print dates back to the early 17th century. 700 square meter kitchen, no how. And then we go there. Okay? Let's see. Cheers. Oh, look at that. Yes, yes, they okay. were found during the digging here uh, of the kitchen. So this was. They were the biggest kitchens during the 14th and 15th century that have been found until today anyway. Okay? Mm. So you have this central uh, fireplace has been reconstituted and a part of the, uh, of the pillars. So here it is, you see, you see the chaudière in front. And uh, they, uh, it was used to keep warm the different dishes that were cooked in the surrounding chimneys, you see. There are one yeah, here, yeah, yeah. one here, there were three chimneys, okay? Uh, because... That was a fire as well, that was a... This, you have a fire place, yes? Yeah, and the yeah. square. Yes. This... Well. And the, the hill I, I talked to you about where the 
antique city was is that building you can see on the opposite side. Okay. Yeah.